Hey everybody, it is Kellen Nitro for Nitromaniac TV's Wrestling Unlimited coming at you today with a quick little uh, vlog on uh, something pretty landmark that happened earlier this week in the world of uh, video games and wrestling. Have you picked up your next generation console yet? Are you one of the people that are uh, were waiting opening day to pick up your Xbox Series X or your PS5? Or are you sticking with your current gen right now? Um, really doesn't matter either way because AEW on Tuesday had a big unveil of their AEW games division. Uh, and uh, the 20 minute video is archived on YouTube. I've taken a look at it um, and checked it out from top to bottom. And just wanted to get your opinion and gauge, well, the temperature of the water here. What did you think? Basically, to sum up what was said is that a No Mercy style console game in, is in development with Uke's official, and we've seen uh, some footage from what looks to be a beta of the game. Uh, I don't think it was the finished thing by any stretch of the imagination. I think that by the time it gets released next year in 2021, uh, it'll look a lot different than what it is now. Uh, so we got that, a GM simulator game that will be uh, on mobile, and a mobile casino game as well with the AEW likenesses and properties and so on and so forth. And of course a new t-shirt, well whatever. Well, they, the, 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 the joke around a new t-shirt is, you know, it's basically a reversal of the Pornhub logo if you haven't, I mean, anyways, uh, that was the meme from <laughs> earlier this week. I uh, want to talk about the three other items that was rolled out. Uh, first of all, the mobile casino game. Um, we'll have to wait and see exactly what it looks like. But again, it's not much different than your WWE Super Cards that exist or uh, um, whatever that mobile game that New Japan was portraying, uh, I think, earlier in the year or so that you could download. Uh, it's another way to get the properties out there and uh, you know maybe there's a free freemium slash premium element to it as there are in every video game now it's partly the reason why I've kind of stepped away from that world and that genre a little bit uh, from my previous dealings is just due to you know the amount of freemium and premium gamings that uh, are out there in different ways and for versions and so on and so forth so there is the GM Simulator game coming to mobile that is going to be a lot of fun. I think I'll pick that up day of launch, uh, just due to the fact that we haven't had a really good simulator game uh, out there since, gosh, I mean, Fire Pro has a little element to it, but, um, you know, the SmackDown vs. Raw series back in the, in the 2000s, to me, had the best GM modes, and you can comment below what's your favorite uh, version was, but uh, like the ones, like the very first SmackDown vs. Raw had a killer GM mode. I, I, that, that was great. And then, um, you know, the ongoing years, so 5, 06, just building upon that. Uh, and it was two player, too, so the same console, two player. So you and a buddy could build shows and, and railroad. I mean, I often lost, but, you know, I still had fun doing it. I still had fun playing it, so. Uh, maybe I shouldn't bank on legends in the main events all the time. Just build around the young stars a little bit better. And of course, the big enchilada out of the announcement was the No Mercy style console game with Yuke's official. Uh, cool to see Yuke's get back into the wrestling game. I know that the fellow that was in charge of uh, developing and kind of perfecting the engine for No Mercy has signed on to, again, uh, you know, perfect and unveil this engine that will be out there for um, the new AEW game. Now, from what we've seen uh, from the footage from the live stream and that stuff, again, don't read too much into it. That has to be a beta test of some sort. I don't think that that's anywhere near the finished product. Uh, I'm not as uh, pessimistic and, and uh, negative as other people were towards it. Everyone was like, oh, this is just like WWE All-Stars or... or uh, you know, WWE Battlegrounds or whatever it will be coming out. And I'm like, well, let's just give it a little bit here because um, I think that you look at a lot of games that have been developed throughout the years, especially wrestling games, and you've seen footage of, take for example, like I said earlier, the SmackDown vs. Raw series. 
uh, on a few of the home videos from back in the day, you can see previews of it, and uh, those games look nothing when they were done compared to what was on the home video, and it was in a good way. The, the, vi the video games were actually a lot better than in the home video previews than they actually were uh, once they were rolled out. I mean... I remember back in 2003 when Here Comes the Pain was uh, unveiled for the PlayStation 2 at the time. Uh, a lot of video game preview shows were, quite frankly, very dismissive of it. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of uh, like paper and online reviewers and that, and that stuff. There were a few that gave it four or five stars, but they were like, well, what's with these graphics? It's just weird, you know, and, and whatever. But... Uh, that was just seeing the trailer that was playing in EB Games or whatever, or maybe playing a beta copy of it. Uh, when the game rolled out, I don't think there was anybody in the world that was disappointed in that game. I think a lot of people uh, had a lot of fun with that game and that that engine that carried WWE through the 2000s on the PlayStation 2. <clears throat> Is it going to be an exact clone of No Mercy? Probably not. Uh, a lot of that technology has been lost to time. Quite frankly, Ux has probably developed better ways to do certain things if they're going to build upon the old THQ engine from 1999. Uh, don't forget, that's over 20 years ago now at this point. So, um, I'm looking forward to it myself. Uh, right now, uh, let's go back to my earlier question, did you pick up a next-gen console? I want to pick up a next-gen console. I want to pick up a PS5, but the problem is right now at the moment, uh, it's just have to finagle the funds for it and on top of that uh, my PS4 has a burnt out fan on it so I haven't been able to play it at all during this pandemic it burnt out uh, in January and I never had the chance to go out and get it fixed so I gotta get that fixed first and then uh, see what I want to do with it either I want to trade it towards a PS5 or or what have you but um, yeah, the, the fan on it is pooched. It overheats within like 20 minutes of plugging in and, and turning on, so um, got to get that fixed. By the way, if you live in the Edmonton area and are watching this, uh, shoot me a comment below or a private message over on Twitter or whatever and let me know what places are open that will fix PS4s. Uh, I'm just starting my search right now to see if somebody will actually crack the thing open and take a look at the fan. Um, I don't have the... Uh, hand-eye coordination nor the delicate fingers to do it myself so uh, I'll be farming this one out but anyway ultimately what did you think of the announcement what do you expect the games to look like are you excited for the games eh, put your comments below let me know uh, you can hit me up on Twitter at Kellen Nitro you can uh, hit me up through here in the comments section of course pass the video around let's get it going let's get it uh, uh, it's uh, rolling along here, and I think that uh, as I am recording this video today on uh, November 13th, yeah, 89 subscribers to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing, uh, 11 away from 100, and I promise I'll roll out a special Nitro's take once we pass 100 subscribers, so uh, stay tuned for that for sure. Alright folks, later days, happy wrestling watching, we'll catch you next time on Nitro Maniac TV's Wrestling Unlimited, take care.